it to him, do it to him, do it to him, do it to him. He gon' love it when I do it to him, do it to him, do it to him, do it to him. I'm such a flex, so he gon' lose it when I. Welcome back to Wellness Wednesday. How is everyone doing? It's been a little while with our Wellness Wednesday. I've been very busy with my three boys, little Flynn, Hart and Miles, but they're all doing very well. Um, hope you guys are doing well. It's fun to be back doing a Wellness Wednesday. Here's a flower that I picked for you all from our garden. Oh, it smells so good. So fragrant and just so pure. Like I just love nature so much. It's so inspiring. It just like brings you back to the moment. It just, ah, just smelling the flowers. And my little one actually picked this one for me today too. So you've got two flowers today. I'm going to um, do a little affirmation card from our deck. Let's see what the message is for all of us today. I love shuffling and picking a random card so that really it's the, the card that's meant to be for all of us. So let's see. I'm not actually good at shuffling, so I kind of just mix them around a little randomly. Um, let me see what we have here. Let's see. Okay. The card for today is visualize success. You see yourself doing well in all areas of your life, your job, your relationships, your family interactions, your athletic activities. The more you visualize, the more success becomes a reality for you. You know what? That's true. The more I visualize those positive thoughts, the more I create that in my own reality. And, you know, it really is a powerful tool. And so see yourself succeeding in all of your endeavors. See yourself succeeding in all of your endeavors. So there we have it. That was our little affirmation card. I'm so excited. Today we have the founder of Rio Geo, Nancy Twine. She's going to be joining us. I'm going to connect with her. And I'm such a huge fan of her and her brand. Mm. I actually really love her Don't Despair Repair um, little deep conditioning mask. I use it once a week. And I put on my little turmeric mask at the same time. So you can do a hair mask and a face mask. And it's just such a nice uh, combination. Uh, generally, I'll do it when I'm sitting in the, in the bath. Um, so I can have that little moment to myself after the kids are asleep. Anyway, so we are going to talk all things hair. So you guys are going to learn some wonderful tips from Nancy and uh, about hair care. And I am going to add her in. So just give me a second. Hold on. Add in Nancy. Invite to join. There we go. Invite. Okay. Let's see. She got that invite. Oh, hi. Uh, hi. How are you? Good. How are you? You look gorgeous. Oh, thank you. So do you. You're glowing. Thank you. Well, because of some of my faves that I have here, of course, Aww, which we'll you. talk about. I'm so excited because my new favorites 
are your scalp revival nice. and the little um, tea tree and um, is it has it got mint in here? The tea tree cooling hydration. Yeah, there's peppermint, mask. there's tea tree. It's a scalp mask, which is like very innovative because people don't normally think about putting a mask on their scalp. So I'm excited to talk about that one. Yeah, that one, I actually used it today and I felt the tingle, which I really love. Yeah. Because as I was saying with this turmeric mask, it also tingles. So you've got the peppermint on your face, the peppermint in your hair. I was like, whoa, I really love this uplifting experience. No wonder <laughs> yes. it feels so fresh. Even though my 10 year old actually woke me up multiple times, not the babies, because I have three boys, but my 10 year old was the one that was like, Mom, I can't sleep. I'm like, oh, I thought the babies would have been waking me up, not you. <laughs> but anyway, here we are. And That's thank it. goodness for your uplifting, energizing products, because it really gave me like a burst of energy. So thank you for that. And absolutely. Um, so happy to hear that. <laughs> yeah, it's little things like that, that for me make all the difference, like little like tips and tricks that you can do to just like, I don't know, like the, that peppermint just for me and aromatherapy has been such an incredible tool that I've used throughout my whole life to just kind of energize or like calm or ground. And it seems like you're on that same page. Absolutely. And it's just um, so incredible, just the power of sensorial elements like scents, because we associate scents like peppermint and eucalyptus and tea tree yes. with the spa, right? So even if yes. we're not at the spa and we're just in our shower, kind of emotionally, it takes you to a place of calm and relaxation. So I completely totally. agree. And I love having those little spa experiences at home. Like, even before COVID, I was creating those little rituals and spa rituals at home because mm -hmm. I'm a homebody. Like, I don't <laughs> really like to leave the house unless I have to. So I love to create the, you know, those little rituals at home so that you feel like you've been at the spa, but really you just had a moment to yourself in the shower in the morning while the kids exactly. are sleeping or at night, you know? Love it. <laughs> So thank you again for coming on. And I, I obviously um, know that you were inspired by your grandmother. And I'd love to hear a little bit about that and how you started your company. Um, I'm sure everyone here would love to hear your story from you. Yeah, absolutely. And I'm so, so excited to be here with you to um, share about my early beginnings of becoming an entrepreneur. Um, and you're right, it started with my grandmother and my mom. Um, my mom was one of eight children and she grew up on a farm in rural West Virginia. And Amazing. yeah, yeah. And, you know, it was, it was definitely a family of very strong women. Um, women, when they didn't have the things they need, were so innovative and creating on their own. And ultimately that's what inspired my mom to become a chemist because when she was growing up, her mom used to take ingredients from the farm and transform them into products that the family needed beyond just food, but you know, personal care, different oils and, and butters and lotions for the skin. And when I was growing up, we had access to so much more. There was a health food store right down the street from us. So me and my mom would go and we'd get different oils and extracts and um, other just incredible ingredients and bring them home and use our kitchen mixer to transform them into these very functional beauty products, whether it was face masks, hair oils, um, body treatments, you name it. And um, when I was actually starting my career in finance, I quickly realized that I wasn't passionate about the work that I was doing. And unfortunately, after losing my mom in 2010, I really wanted to figure out how I could mesh my career with my passions. And during that soul searching time, I thought back to those memories that I had with my mom creating products. And I knew that it was something that I loved to do. And it was also a time in which I feel like, you know, consumers were becoming a lot more conscious about the ingredients that they were putting on their hair, their body and skin. So I thought, mm -hmm what not the perfect opportunity to kind of pay homage to my mom, to my grandmother, and also create a career of passion. 
um, rooted in something that I really, really love. And ultimately that became the inspiration for Briogeo. Wow, that's incredible. My grandmother also influenced me a lot. And it sounds like we had a similar upbringing, like in a way, but I grew up in Australia, in a little country town in Australia. My grandmother, we grew up without very much at all, but we had an organic vegetable patch and she would get the vegetable, fruits and vegetables from the garden that my grandfather, you know, um, was taken care of and we'd get them and then she would teach me how to cook and like do simple, you know, recipes and whatnot from a very young age. And um, she's the one that introduced me to Noni, which is the superfood, superfruit, superfood that's, you know, across the whole Core Organics range. I'm obsessed. And you said that I was glowing when I got on. And I promise you, this oil is so, so, so incredible. It's part of my regular routine. So I can also speak to the power of Noni. Sorry to interject, oh, but I just got no. really excited. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, Noni is like a superfood, super fruit. And it has over 100 vitamins and minerals. And every single Cora product has Noni. But um, we use other ingredients, obviously, to like, you know, for the powerful, clinically active, you know, results that everyone's looking for. And I think that's the same with you guys. Like, there's this misconception that maybe clean isn't as powerful. And I love your products. And they're super powerful. And they're clean. And you also have your six that you don't, um, the six free hair care. Yeah. So do you want to talk about that a little bit? Yeah, absolutely. And I will tell you that that has been a bit of a challenge just as a kind of young entrepreneur, um, having products that you're really passionate about, but really um, educating them on the right way so that you can really dispel that myth that natural isn't as powerful because that's definitely not the case. Um, and when I was starting to formulate with my chemist, it was so, so important that I was aware so that I could make the consumer aware of the ingredients that are commonly used in hair care that you should really avoid. And while there are dozens of ingredients that we leave out of Briogeo products, um, the six free speaks to six ingredients that are most commonly used in hair care. So things like silicones, which can be really stripping not only to the hair and cause dryness, but also stripping to the, to the skin barrier, um, which is so crucial to maintaining a healthy scalp, making sure that that scalp skin barrier is intact. Um, things like silicones, um, I equate silicones to kind of like clear nail polish. They give the illusion of shininess and health, but they have real no, no, no real nurturing benefit to the hair. And instead of using silicones, we use um, a plethora of really rich, nutrient-dense natural oils so that we're enhancing the shine of the hair, but we're also feeding the hair a lot of nutrients instead of, it, instead of just making it look healthy. Mm -hmm. um, and then things like parabens, which in certain studies have been linked to um, certain health concerns. Uh, we also leave out um, artificial colors in our products um, that can be you know, really associated with skin inflammation, especially for those who have um, very skin sensitive skin. So some of the colors that you see in our products, like our scalp revival oh, yes. shampoo, yeah. those, are, those always come from nature. So this is actually the detoxifying charcoal that's making it that gray color. Um, and then just other uh, ingredients like DEA, which is really similar to um, sulfates and that it's very stripping both to the hair and scalp. So that's, that's six free. Oh, amazing. I think it's incredible because it is, and I know how hard it is to make natural products and mm -hmm. you have to work so closely with the chemist to get it perfect. I mean, how long do you spend on each product? Like, do you have an average amount of time? Because I know we do at Cora. Yeah, it really takes a while. And I think, you know, so many people are shocked when, you know, I talk about being in development, you know, for even this product here, this took almost three years to develop because it was such a unique format. It's a creamy based shampoo that actually does lather and deeply cleanses the hair while adding back moisture. Plus we added exfoliants that don't get stuck in the hair. They actually dissolve during the wash process but they're also powerful enough to actually 
help get rid of the excess dead skin, dirt, oil, and buildup. So there were so many complications to this format that made the development a lot longer. Whereas for some of our products where we have a lot more familiarity with the bases and, and how to create that texture, um, you know, products like that maybe take, you know, closer to a year, a year and a half. Um, but it's also really important too that we just give ourselves the space to be creative. Um, yes. Oftentimes when you're rushing to bring something to market, you never bring the best product. So kind of baked into that timeline is the room for us to really be creative, to test things dozens of times if we need to. Um, but it's a really fun process and it's one in which so many members at Team Briochio, even if they're not in product development, you know, get involved in, um, yeah. in terms of just bringing ideas to the table. Yeah, same with us. It's so fun to have that process and just kind of like go back and forth and be like, oh, we just need to see a little bit more of this or a little <laughs> bit more of that. And um, it's incredible with the scalp care, as you were talking about, because mm -hmm. I used... I used this one this morning. I've been using this one for a long time, yeah. but I used the um, Scalp Care Revival this morning and I loved it. As I was saying, it was so like tingly, but I love that it still was able to foam. Uh, I think this is a, a very incredible product and I like those little exfoliating beads that you could feel. But as you said, they were natural, so they're not bad for the environment. Exactly, exactly. And I'm so happy that you're a fan of the product. And I just think scalp education is so important. And I think, you know, historically, the topic of, of scalp health has been one that's been ignored. I think people spend a lot more time, you know, focused on the face, which people yeah. can see. But the truth is your scalp is an extension of the skin on your face. Yeah. And, you know, similar to how I think about my exfoliating routine, um, I exfoliate my face to get rid of, you know, the makeup, the dirt, the oil, and the buildup. But the same thing is happening on the scalp. You know, when you use serums, when you use styling products, um, just sweating, regular sweat and oil production, the same thing is happening on your scalp. Those hair follicles, the pores on your scalp can get clogged. And oftentimes just using a regular shampoo is not enough. Just like washing your face oftentimes is not enough. You know, every now and then you have to add exfoliation into the routine to really make sure that you're keeping um, the skin very um, clean, um, free of, you know, harmful bacteria so that you can really create the foundation for healthy hair. So this idea of the skinification of hair is so, so real. And I love it because I feel like so many people are so much more educated within skincare and they can now start applying those learnings to their hair care routine, which is really awesome. Yeah, and it is a different way of thinking about things when you're thinking about your scalp and the skin on your scalp as opposed to just the hair itself and like right. how the skin on the scalp affects the hair. And as it, if you do exfoliate it, then it's, therefore creating kind of like a better foundation for your hair and like exactly yeah more that's nutrients right. that's exactly right it's like it's the perfect analogy and you spoke about our scalp mask just kind of taking it to the next step so we talked about exfoliation which yes you know skin body exfoliation scalp exfoliation i'm doing kind of like the side by side to kind of make that connection yeah and we all know that after you exfoliate um unless you add back the moisture it can leave the skin feeling a bit dry which is why we introduced the scalp mask to do yeah. exactly that to help add back the moisture and those soothing ingredients to the scalp so that when you get out of the shower you have a nice hydrated feeling so kind of similar to after using your um, exfoliator, I will use the Noni Glow Oil to add back that moisture, to give the glow so that my skin doesn't feel tight, but that it feels really, really nourished. Um, so this product and the scalp mask are kind of like the parallels from that yes. standpoint. I love this. I put it on, I left it on, you know, 
for a little bit, like, I don't know, maybe a minute or so. That yeah. felt like it was enough, right? Are you supposed to leave it on longer or? People leave it up to three minutes, but one minute is totally, totally fine. Okay, great. Because I was yeah. like, ooh, it feels good. <laughs> I know. It feels really, really nice, especially like during the summer, I would go to the beach and sometimes my scalp would just feel a little sunburned mm -hmm. and getting into the shower with that mask just feels so so lovely it feels so like like i said like rejuvenating and my my hair really loves your products so thank you oh you're and welcome I actually your have, great. and i have like naturally oily hair mm -hmm. so i have to be really careful about what i use and mm -hmm. i tend to wash my hair every other day so is there any other products that you could recommend for my hair or any other tips? Yeah, absolutely. So um, a couple of years ago, we innovated um, in the dry shampoo world. Ooh. And to me, I was very passionate about dry shampoos because of the fact that most dry shampoos on the market are in aerosol bottles, which one is not great for the environment, but it's also not great for your scalp. Because if you look at the ingredients of most aerosols, they're actually propelled by, you know, hazmat gases like propane and butane. And so if you're kind of emitting that at your scalp multiple times a week, it can create a lot of scalp concerns. So I wanted to develop a scalp healthy dry shampoo. And because you said your hair tends to be oily, you know, sometimes you may be able to extend that blowout beyond just, you know, every other day washing. Maybe you can get up to, you know, every two days. Um, and in doing so, a dry shampoo can really come in handy. So um, this is the Scalp Revival Charcoal and Biotin Dry Shampoo. And you like to shake it up first just to kind of get the powder moving. And then you squeeze puff oh, wow. right into that. the roots. <laughs> I'm like breathing that yeah. in. Um, but I love it because you don't have the aerosol and it's a pure powder um, that will help to absorb that excess oil at the roots and then you just kind of shake it out. Um, and you're and then... still getting the spray, which I like. Because exactly. I know there's some out there where you shake it and I was like, Neh. And then it gets everywhere. Yeah. But this like kind of goes like right Spreads into the spray. area that you want it to go into. Okay, I'm going right. to try that one. That's going to be my next <laughs> purchase. So thank you for that. Yeah. Are there <laughs> any other like health and wellness related hair tips that you'd like to share with all of us? Yeah, absolutely. You know, the truth is, um, you know, so much of our hair health is really determined by how we eat the types of nutrients that are in our body. And there are all things that can kind of throw that mix off. And the body is really smart because if you're not consuming enough of the right vitamins and minerals, the body's going to take what you do have and it's going to use those ingredients to fuel your vital organs, meaning chances are there's nothing left over that gets to the hair follicle because it's all been absorbed by the yeah. parts of the body that need it the most. So if you feel like you may not be taking in the right profile of vitamins just through your you know, daily um, kind of food routine, I highly recommend a healthy hair supplement. Um, and we actually released a Be Well, which stands for Briogeo Wellness um, Collection a couple of years ago. And this is our vegan omega-369 healthy wow. hair supplement. And it contains um, just a really um, thoughtful profile of vitamins, minerals, and nutrients that was co-created with a nutritionist to make sure that your body does have all the nutrients so that it can feed the organs, but then have enough left over to actually feed the healthy hair growth. And sometimes just adding in a supplement into your routine can make all the difference. And yeah. we have just gotten such you know, incredible um, dialogue from our consumers about that. They were like, oh my gosh, I had no idea that like my nutrient profile was so off. And once I started taking the right supplements, it really, really helped me um, start you know, achieving you know, healthier, fuller, shinier hair. So that's a big one. That is a big one. I love, it's so important to think about the beauty on the inside and the outside and ingredients that work. Like I know with Cora as well, like we have ingredients for the, that you can have internally and externally yeah. Um, because it's all connected and our yeah. skin is our largest organ in the body. 
That's right. Absolutely. So I think um, that's just really important education, especially kind of knowing how the bio, the, the body like biologically prioritizes certain nutrients. So maybe you're getting some, but there's maybe not enough left over for the other things that matter as well. So um, that's definitely one that um, I, I oftentimes talk about. And then just little like hair hacks that you can weave into your routine. So I actually several years ago stopped using a towel to oh. dry my hair. And sorry for anyone who's still using a towel. I know it's like kind of scary, but what can happen with a towel sometimes is because it's so absorbent, especially if you're twisting your hair in it, mm. it can actually like damage the hair cuticle because of the roughness of the towel. Um, so instead I converted to using kind of t-shirt material that's less abrasive. Um, it helps to absorb the excess water without leaving the roughness to the hair cuticle. So that can really help with frizz. Um, that can also really help with shine as well. Um, also too, prior to blow drying, um, especially if you're you know, using a lot of heat, it's great to shake dry your hair as much as possible before you really turn up the heat. Um, that way you can use the heat for a less amount of time. So just kind of shake drying it with a with a, a blow dryer on like low heat to get rid of as much water as possible. And then you can go in with the higher heat. So that'll help with reduction. Um, and then the next, actually I have two more tips. Um, I definitely think it's really worth it to invest in either um, a satin or silk pillowcase, similar to what I talked about with a towel. Um, friction can happen um, during sleep between a cotton pillowcase and your hair. Again, that can cause split ends, it can cause frizz, it can cause dryness. So when you have a much smoother, um, kind of slippier material, it'll help to reduce that friction between your hair and the material. So that'll really help to boost shine. Um, and then the last one is really kind of a tip that's been around forever, but getting your hair trimmed regularly really does matter. Um, because the longer that you let those split ends sit, they will start to kind of creep up the hair cuticle and that split becomes bigger and now you've actually damaged more of your hair. Where if you keep those trims in control, you can nip those split ends in the bud. So it'll help to increase your hair length over time because your hair is not splitting up through the mid length and it'll just keep your hair really, really healthy and looking fuller. Wow, that's awesome. Thank you. I learned some good tips here. Awesome. One thing that I do for my hair, and I'm not sure if it's good or not, but I also do it for my skin. And, you know, we were talking about obviously the skin and the hair and the scalp are all connected, um, is that I rinse in really cold water. Mm. So yeah. I've heard that could help as well, like obviously with circulation for the skin and maybe the hair too. Do you want to know why that helps? Yeah, I'd love <laughs> so there's to. a little bit of science. So actually the hair is really, really dynamic and heat, especially like humidity. So hot heat will help to open up the hair cuticle, which is why oftentimes it's nice to kind of do a mask in a steam room because oh, yeah. that, that steam will open up the hair cuticle so that the mask ingredients can really penetrate into the hair. But then you want to actually seal the hair afterwards so that you get that shine and that silkiness. And to close back that hair cuticle, that cold water, that cool water that you use helps to do exactly that. So it oh. helps to seal back that hair cuticle to give shine and smoothness. Um, so what you're doing totally makes sense. Yay, that's good. <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah, it's, I've been doing it for a long time. It also just feels energizing. I love things that just wake me up and feel good. Just like body brushing. I like to dry body brush and I feel like so much more energy and I feel the circulation boost. It's little Is things like that. Is there a like technique that. for dry body brushing? Because I got one and I'm like, am I doing this right? <laughs> I mean, I don't know if I'm doing it right, but I've been doing it since I was about 18. And I just start at my feet and I move all the way upwards. Apparently you're supposed to go towards your heart. Mm. And so you dry body brush all the way up towards your heart. So down your arms and like, yeah, 
And then I and guess do you like, take before the shower or after the shower? Before. Okay. Yeah. And then you just kind of feel quite invigorated. It's good for the lymphatic system. It's good just to kind of, I do it every morning because my husband wakes up every morning at 5 a.m. So that means I wake up at 5 a.m. The little kids are still sleeping, but I have this moment to myself to do my routine, like my skin and hair care and get myself ready for the day. And so that's part of my routine with the dry body brushing. And I think it's a simple thing that anyone can do and it's very effective. I like it a lot. I love that. And I feel like it's so funny because what you talked about being your routine, I feel like it's, it's really a ritual. A ritual. And I feel like, you know, so many of these things that we've been talking about, whether it's, um, you know, exfoliating your body or your scalp or your face or using a mask or using an oil, um, these, these are such special treatments that are really rooted in self-care and being able to really take the time out to nourish yourself and to really focus on your own self-care is such a powerful ritual. And that's one of the things that I really love about both of our brands is that it's not like quick fix things. It's about like taking the time and really bringing it back to basics and creating rituals out of your beauty routine. Yeah, I love that because the more you can give back to yourself in those little moments, the more you can give back to everyone else. If you can come from that full place of like you're feeling centered you're feeling calm you're feeling energized yeah and uh then you have so much more to give to your business to your family to your friends and you know it's all interconnected and it's really great like we at cora we talk about connecting the mind body and skin and it sounds mm. like you have a similar philosophy Absolutely. So we're all energetic beings. Totally. And actually speaking of, of energy, I, I um, was kind of reading some, some things and I know that you're really into crystals and I would love to learn just a little bit more about like how that's incorporated into the Cora product yeah. line. So because crystals have been such a great tool for me in my life, like I have been carrying around rose quartz crystals with me since I was a teenager. And um, actually my grandfather was a house mover and he would like pick up the houses, you know, in Australia and then have to move them from one place to another. That's what they used to do. And in that process, he would find these big geode crystals underneath, you know, in the actual ground and he'd wow. bring them back for my grandma and she wasn't that impressed with them she was like nah, okay and i was really drawn to them and fascinated by all these different like crystals and these big geodes and i was like wow and she put them at the base of the um willow tree that we used to climb as kids and mm -hmm. so it was like this little willow tree with all the crystals at the bottom of it and that sounds um, magical, Miranda, by the way. That just it sounds was. like... <laughs> and like I said, like, we didn't grow up with very much. We, were, we My parents had me when I was... They were... My mom was 16, and they're still together now, my parents. And um, they bought the cheapest house in one of the smallest towns in Australia, and they just worked really hard and had their own businesses. And um, anyway, so what was really important to me was having that time like on the farm with my grandparents and just the, the, you know, just kind of the simple things were so important, like having that quality time together. We were learning about health and wellness and then this whole thing with the crystals. So therefore when I was on a holiday, cause this was this, I grew up in this little remote town in Australia. But when we went on a holiday, when I was like 13, I guess, maybe 14, we walked past this store and there were all crystals in there. And I walked in and I, it felt like a wonderland to me. I was so intrigued about all these crystals because I'd had this experience with the ones from my grandpa. And now it explained like all the different meanings. And I was really drawn to rose quartz. Mm. And so here's a rose quartz crystal here. And, um, Rose quartz is specifically for bringing about that loving energy in your life and opening the heart chakra. 
and it's very soothing it's very nurturing and i have always kept one on me um pretty much at all times like a little one will come with me i used to keep one in my bra but then breastfeeding for the last couple of years that wasn't working so <laughs> <laughs> i now keep this like this little one in my handbag at all times because this is also like so a facial pretty. massager as well and i made this for cora um so i keep that in my bag but every single cora product in the um, manufacturing process touches upon the rose quartz crystals to bring about that oh, loving wow. energy to all of the products and also on the back of every core product there's a positive word just to kind of add to that uplifting experience and then we don't use any um artificial fragrance we only use um essential oils mm. so you have that aromatherapy benefit as well so you're getting that sensorial experience um, because aromatherapy, crystals, and positive words of affirmation have been three tools that have really helped me in my life. So I wanted to infuse my products with those uh, three things, those three kind of tools, so that when you're using Cora, you feel that energy. And there is also some of our products that contain actual rose quartz crystals. And we also use other crystals as well. For instance, in our new Minty Mist, we have an aquamarine crystal that's oh, actually cool. in the bottom of the product. That's awesome. Yeah, so it's like continually energized. Our Milky Mushroom Cleanser um, oh. is filtered through. Yeah, it's filtered mm. through and touches upon clear quartz and rose quartz. And Very cool. Yes. Oh my so, gosh, Miranda, then, I didn't realize all of this about your pro. I, I didn't know. You. Like I knew that crystals were incorporated and it was something that you were passionate about. Innovative. I had no idea. Wow. Oh, are you there? Oh, thank you. And this one has like the filtration process with citrine. And you see citrine and the actual bottle itself is supposed to resemble a citrine crystal. But this is like Gorgeous. a glass jar. Um, so you buy the glass jar once and then you purchase these refill pods. So it's less waste and better for the environment. So that yeah. So cool. Thanks. Wow. That is amazing. And we, I feel like we have so much in common, but we also have mm -hmm. in common that rose quartz is my favorite crystal. And I'm actually looking at a rose quartz bowl that I have on my coffee table, but like, one day I feel like we need to do an IG live and just like show and tell our crystal collections. Oh yeah. That would be that would so be fun. Amazing. I would love that. <laughs> that would and be also awesome. like, I just think that they're just, for me, they're just like a very, a very useful tool that, you know, I think is quite accessible for people as well. Absolutely. And I, um, last year, I got a chance to go to Sedona, Arizona, which is like my happy place. I love Sedona. That's and, amazing. I've um, always wanted I, to go. Oh, it's, you have to go. And I brought some of my crystals there and charged them because the moonlight is so powerful and there are energy vortexes in certain areas. And yeah. um, I bought some new crystals there, but it's, it's just such a magical, wonderful place. And if you get a chance to go, I... I highly recommend it. Oh, I would love that. I'm, I will. And um, maybe I can take my children and husband with me because yes. that's the thing. You feel like, oh, you're constantly, you know, balancing. For me, I'm like balancing, you know, work and family. And then it's like, when do we get time to go on little holidays? But it's something we should, we should plan. It would be amazing. I'd love to go to Sedona and check out the energy vortex. I've heard so much about it there. Very so. cool. Do you and your family like to hike? Love to hike. Okay. Cause there are just some walks. amazing, just hiking areas and just very, very cool. Like, um, caves. There's, there's one that we visited. It's called the shaman's cave. It's a bit of a oh, trek, nice. but it's just, it's magical. So and maybe you'll get some inspo for a new core product while you're there. I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, that's a great idea. <laughs> And for everyone who's watching, um, they can, everyone can go and enter a chance to win mm. a little gift pack from both of us if they yep. follow, they follow um, Rio Gio and Cora Organics. Yes. Um, and then we have a little 
you know, gift pack and a winner. Um, I think it's like a little giveaway that we're doing. So Very cool. for everyone who's watching, make sure that you, um, you know, follow both of us and you can go and have a chance to win. And I'm just so grateful for your time. Thank you so much. I wish we could chat longer, but I have to run. I know. Um, Likewise. Yeah, because we have so much to in common. So we'll, we'll definitely do this again. Definitely. I loved it. And thank you so much for having me, Miranda. Oh, thank you for being on. I really appreciate it. And thank you to everyone who's been watching. And I will save this to my IGTV so that people can watch again. So have a wonderful day. Thank you so much, Nancy. Thank you. And See you soon. Make sure that you guys, you know, go and try and win some Cora embryos. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Good luck. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. Bye.